Hey guys, in this video I'll be disassembling the Z-axis, which is actually pretty easy, so this is going to be kind of a short video. I start with removing the crank uh, assembly for the quill, and that's just a large uh, thumb screw. There's a spring inside and a, a key on the shaft, so you'll want to bag those little parts so you don't lose them. And then on the underside of the head you'll see these three bolts uh, surrounding the large center bolt. These three bolts are the ones you hear about when people refer to the three bolt modification. Um, as I understand it, on earlier versions of the casting, there was only the center bolt and one other bolt, and so there was a, there's a way to modify it so you can have three bolts, and I think Haas has a video uh, about that modification, but mine came from the factory with all three bolts, so that mod wasn't necessary. Make sure you unplug your machine if you haven't. Mine is unplugged, it just looks like it's not. And then I used a large uh, packing blanket to protect the table uh, from my banging the head around, and you'll see that I was trying to wrestle the head loose and it wouldn't come off. The reason is, on the other side of the head, and you'll see me point to it in just a second, there's a 3 millimeter set screw that you'll need to loosen. It doesn't have to come all the way out, uh, but when you loosen it, it will allow you to slide the head uh, right off of the column, and there it goes. Uh, you can see that there's two cap screws on the, uh, what I'm going to call the saddle, and we'll need to remove those uh, kind of last, and that's pretty much everything else you'll have to uh, do uh, other than the gib. Now, I went ahead and pulled the hand wheel, but you actually want to keep that on until the very last step, and you'll see why here in just a minute. And then it's a three millimeter uh, wrench to remove the uh, this little black top hat cover thing. I don't know what it is. And then four millimeter to remove the rest of the hand crank assembly, which I end up putting back together here in just a minute, and you'll see why. Uh, see, at this point, I pull the Gibbs screws and also the baffle on the bottom side of the saddle. I want to say those uh, baffle screws were also four millimeter, and then I get to the lower Gibbs screw. You have to get that baffle out of the way, or you don't have access to that screw. Uh, and both will need to come out because you're going to need to stick something. At least I had to stick something up the on the bottom side of the gib to force the gib out of the top of the saddle. Although it didn't work, and that's why I have to reassemble the hand wheel uh, so I can work the saddle up and down and get that gib to come out. See, so, yeah. It worked perfectly. <laughs> so leave that hand wheel on until last. Right, we're actually going to need it on for one more step. The two cap screws will remove the saddle from the Z-nut spacer, and then you'll need to deal with these two spanner nuts on the top. Uh, I didn't have a wrench for those, and so I removed them together with a, set of, a large set of channel locks. And you can see that I have to hold on to the hand wheel to keep the screw from spinning while I'm trying to work those two nuts apart. And, uh, of course, once the first nut uh, comes off, the second one just you know, you can unscrew that one with your hand. So I didn't worry about marring those two nuts because I knew I wasn't going to reuse them uh, for the Z, for the CNC uh, conversion part. Anyway, there's a couple of bearings and I think uh, uh, another six millimeter uh, uh, wrench for these top cap screws and that whole assembly comes off. And then you can pull the Z-nut spacer block off with your hands. I'm spinning it as though it's threaded on, but it's not. You just need to work it back and forth and it'll pop off. And then the whole screw and everything else comes out the top. Lastly, I remove the hand wheel again and I'm done. So thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions or comments, please post below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you in the next one.